Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are one day away from Team of the Season, and with some of these leaks that we have, we might be looking at one of the best starts to Team of the Season ever. With Community and Air Divisi Tots, the leaks are looking amazing. We're going to take a look through those leaks today and kind of get our minds right for what to expect, what cards could be coming out into this game tomorrow for Community Team of the Season. And of course, the market is not taking this lightly. Prices are back down again on a lot of special cards as people see that loading screen see the leaks and get really excited it's kind of creating another opportunity to buy some of these cards at very low prices once again before we head into the weekend so we're going to talk about that and how today on fifa is a massive day we're going to learn a lot about the new rewards specifically with the brand new season and division rivals rewards and we have to talk about fodder because it's getting kind of low in some areas could it actually go up this weekend even though there's a bunch of packs That'll be opened. We'll talk a little bit about that today. So a lot to go over today. If this video helps you out at all, if you enjoy it, drop a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's start with yesterday's content as we normally do. Yesterday on Wednesday, we had that 85 plus player pick that we were expecting. And I did not do it yet. And the reason why I have not done this yet is because I just don't like having stuff sitting in my unassigned. But that's just my preference. If you like this, I think it's a WSBC. I think a lot of people actually like this. An 83 rated squad with an 84 and an 85 rated player. Yes, you have to turn in those two ratings, but then you go and look at what the rest you have to turn in. It's like 82s and 81s with the 84 and the 85 in there. That pushes the rating up so much. It's very easy to finish out the rest of this. It's only coming in at about 24,000 coins. So you spend 50K, you get two 85 plus player picks, one of three. That's not too bad. We can do it again today before it expires tomorrow on Friday for the beginning of the team of the season. So that there is probably something I'll end up doing today. Um, of course, I can't open the 10 coin pack if you have this uh, because it's sitting in your own assigned. You can't open packs in the store. So that's the downside. But I think I might do these two lays so that I can stack them up. It'd just be a fun player pick to open right away on Friday when the new team of the season is dropped into packs. And we had a brand new one yesterday. We had the 75 times 11 League One upgrade, which it's actually a the best value but it's 75 plus right it's not 81 plus like the other leagues are but league one has so few rares in it so much so few golds in it in general that's why they had to lower this rating down a little overpriced like all of those times 11 packs have been you see a really really big downvote percentage here the better value from yesterday is probably that 85 plus player pick just because you get the really high rating and uh it is cheaper right you could do both of them for the price of that and get two 85 plus player picks so that's that kind of quiet day yesterday, but we did have a loading screen and a bunch of leaks. Now, one thing I want to talk about really quickly when we get into these leaks is you're going to notice there are two different card types for leaks. And actually, as of right now, both of those have been added into the game. We've seen the team of the season card design code. It's been in the game now for a while, but we also have team of the season moments. And remember what we looked at in yesterday's video, EA mentioned that team of the season and team of the season moments cards Whichever of those are in packs, they will all be included into the rewards pool, right? And that kind of made us think, hmm, are Team of the Season Moments cards going to be in packs this year? Because earlier years before this, Team of the Season Moments cards were only in objectives and SBCs. So keep that in mind today as we look through the leaks. And let's look at these leaks because, guys, we have just about the whole entire team leaked. Not everybody, but we have most of the leaks, including some guys that are going to be on the bench leaked for cards that are most likely coming out this friday starting off with a bang gabriel jesus confirmed as a team of the season i mean you look at the stats on this card again we have to be very careful here with believing these stats because they are predicted right these are the players we expect to see in community team of the season not necessarily the stats right will gabriel jesus get a massive pace boost dribbling and shooting boost like that and be 93 rated i don't know it all comes down to the biggest question is here's the players what are the stat boosts going to look like? This would be an insane card if it is dropped. It would be so expensive with stats like that, especially if they were get to give Gabriel Jesus specifically that four-star weak foot, right? He's got the five-star skills in the winter wild cards. He's got the three-star weak foot. Hopefully, he goes to 5-4. I mean, there is a potential for a disappointment there if they don't make him five-star skills or a four-star weak foot. You know, we could be very disappointed. Rodrigo is another really big one, right? Real Madrid, Brazilian links. There's a lot of Brazilian cards that are in this voting you're going to notice um we expected him to get in right no surprise for jesus 
or for Rodrigo. Really hope that Rodrigo gets five star skills. Uh, and team of the season is a time where they do normally boost some skills and some weak foot, especially if a player is on a three star in any of those categories. They most oftentimes as an attacker or midfielder get boosted up because at this time of the year, if you're three star in anything, it's kind of an L, right? We had foot birthday with all the five star, five star stuff. So we should be seeing a lot of skill move and weak foot boost as a part of this promo as well. Bernardo Silva is in as well. So he was, again, another expected winner of the team of the season community voting. 89 pace and 99 dribble would be absolutely insane if they give him a huge boost like this, right? As we're saying, it all comes down to the boost. And a lot of these leaks in here are not that surprising. Kim Min Jae, some Serie A representation as a center back. This might be one of the best center backs in the game, guys, if he does get 90 pace, which is definitely not out of question. He's had an absolutely incredible year, fully deserving of this, not just for a FIFA perspective because people want to try him out, but also deserving in real life for Napoli. That's going to be a cracked out card. Maybe somebody you pair up with Benucci in your defense if you're using Benucci uh, at the moment. Now we get into some Air Divisi leaks as well. We have Javi Simons. This is one that everybody's been looking forward to for Air Divisi Tots. He's probably going to be one of the most higher rated cards. He's had a great year and He's the big name, right? This should be a very, very exciting card, similar to Gravenberch last year that everybody was excited to be trying out. There's always somebody from the lower level league of team of the season. It's like over a million coins. This might be one of our guys, depending on the stat boost there for Javi Simons. That could be a really beastly card. Same thing with Koju. Koju's card, he had a Tots last year that was very usable. Probably going to be the same this year. Hopefully he gets a little bit of a higher rating. Uh, he's been absolutely balling in the Eredivisie this year. So Koju is getting into Eredivisie Tots as well. Andy Robertson is our left back. He is in the team as well. Kind of expected, right? Back to all the community tots that were in the voting. We expected Robbo to be the left back based off the players that we saw. So that's not a surprise. It's kind of expected. Watch out for your left backs in the Prem. I know we bought some of those Cancelos earlier on in the week. His price is back down a little bit. But this is a card that, in my opinion, will be probably more expensive than that Cancelo just because it's a team of the season. It's going to be really hyped. And uh, it's going to be pretty high rated as well. So we'll have to see. Again, pack weight's also a big conversation that we're going to have here with a lot of these cards. The pack weight is huge. Now, here is a massive leak. And man, when I first saw this card, I my jaw dropped looking at these stats. But again, guys, we have to remember that we do not know these stats, right? These are not official stats. This would be plus 10 physical off of his um, SBC that he had earlier in the year. That seems a bit far-fetched to me. Would this card look this insane? I can't see it being this insane, guys. But still, you think about how insane this Taram card is. Um, he's going to be nuts, right? He doesn't even have to have as good of stats as that. Like 87 physical in his future stars all the way up to 97. It's probably not going to happen. I would expect more of like plus threes, plus fours on a lot of these cards. And again, here's a card that needs a weak foot upgrade at least. 4-4 four, four would be great for Taram. Um, at least three star, four star to get that extra uh, weak foot boost to help passing in the middle of the field. But that's one of the most exciting leaks because people wanted this guy to get in and the voting came through and he is getting a team of the season. So Taram is in. That's going to be a very expensive card. Regardless of the stats, regardless of how big the boost is, he's so overpowered in game. People are going to want to use this card and he's going to carry a high price tag because of it. Now, moving on another midfielder, Declan Rice. I believe this is the third midfielder that we have looked at. We're not done yet. Uh, he has also won the voting. Now, some of these guys, I think, could, could potentially be on the bench, maybe not in the starting 11, and that might hurt how big their boosts are. That's a really interesting thing to think about this is the players that get in the starting 11 of the community tots are probably going to have some higher ratings than those that are on the bench. So we'll, who knows between Taram, Declan Rice, or some of the other guys who are leaked in the midfield, who's a part of the starting 11 that will maybe get a bit bigger of a boost. But this could be a really, really good card. Declan Rice, I feel like always flies under the radar uh, with special cards in FIFA. He had a Centurions, was it earlier this year? Yeah, he had SBC for a Centurions that seemed overpriced at the moment. But I think a lot of people ended up using this card and he was very good. And last year, he did have a team of the season card as well. And uh, people, I think people enjoyed it. It was, was this during Community Tots? No, he was Tots Premier League and he was dirt cheap last year with these kind of stats. I don't think a card that with this kind of stats this year would be that cheap because I feel like we're not necessarily to this point of the power curve yet. And if you look at the uh, kind of the predicted stats on his card, they're maybe not even as good as his card was last year during Premier League team of the season. You know, all 90 stats except for pace and shooting. This one's not even all 90 with dribbling and passing. But that's kind of where we are this year at the power curve. So Todd's cards may not be one-to-one -one comparison from last year, 
that's something to keep in mind with the stat boost but that's going to be a pretty usable card in this game so watch out for the Declan Rice being dropped moving on uh we've got a Tavernier as the right back James Tavernier however you say his name Tavernier Tavernier um Rangers English Lynx W right I mean a lot of people with English Lynx recently from the icons very easy to put into teams that is a W right there. He's probably going to be pretty cheap because of the links, right? Not being from a top five league, but still being English. He's going to be have a great card. Remember, speaking of Centurions cards, he had the Centurions SBC earlier on this year. I used that card for a good minute and he was very, very OP. Now, this is where things get even a little more interesting because Foot Sheriff leaked Matoma as a Tots Moments card. Now, we just had the Fantasy Foot Matoma as well that just got some upgrades, but we're getting another one. 100% deserved, right? Not arguing that at all. 100% deserved here for Matoma. Now, the question is, is this going to be Impacts or an SBC? Because we already have the Joellington leaked as our objective card. We expect that to be an objective tomorrow. We don't know uh, if this is an SBC right now or if it's going to be Impacts. Once again, like we mentioned, all Tots and Tots moments that are available in packs will be made available as Tots Red Foot Champs items. But usually Tots moments are not in packs. It sounds like they may be this year, but I don't think this verbiage right here is like that clear cut. Um, but who knows, right? Maybe that's a change that EA are going to make this year. There's going to be like Tots cards and Tots moments a part of the release. We'll see, right? There's another league that I want to talk about that is that exact same situation. Um, I would be, this would be, a, this would be a great SBC to be completely honest. This would be one that I think EA would be able to get a lot of people to do. I would be interested in this, especially running a three back. A card like this on the left side going up and down the wing with these kind of stats would be phenomenal with that defending push that is there um you know the passing shooting and, and the, the dribbling you play him on the wing as well such a well-rounded card and just a hype player in real life that could be a really good like budget sbc like a cheaper tots card because his links maybe are not as good but still a very exciting player for a lot of people i'm so curious to see what ea do with these tots moments cards now moving on this is one where i feel like it might be a leak of a player that could be on the bench. We already have Kim Min Jae. Uh, we've already looked at a couple of the defenders. Maybe Danilo is in the starting 11. Maybe he is going to be on the bench. We'll have to see. 84 pace, 92 defense, 90 physical. Uh, he does have an inform that was released a while ago that's pretty decent. Some nice Juve and, once again, Brazilian links there for some of those recent SBCs that have been dropped recently. And then this is a big one. Kingsley Coman is confirmed as a TOTS community card. And this is where you start to think about like, wow, the players that are in this community team of the season team are actually pretty nuts. You think about guys like the Kingsley Coman. Um, I want to look up the community TOTS from last year and kind of compare these names. You know, I want the generations. Yes, for Zaha, there we go. Back to FIFA 22. I want to look this team up and kind of compare it to the leaks that we have right now because guys like, yeah, last year we had Suarez. Last year, we had Fred with five-star skills. Last year, we had a Laporte card with 90 pace and a really good Serge Gnabry and the Zaha card. But, like, if you compare this team with, like, a McGinn that was, you know, okay. Kakare was kind of OP, but, like, Jared Moreno was fodder. Adeyemi was fodder, to be completely honest. Carrasco was okay. You had some guys on the bench that were more so fodder and, you know, just cheap, kind of, in, uh, you know, usable players, but pretty cheap. You've got Kingsley Coman in here. You've got the, the Danilo, which is like on the lower end, but that's insane. Tavernier looks cracked. Rabo looks cracked. And then you think about all the big names like the Taram, the Declan Rice. You've got the Kim Min Jae, Bernardo Silva, Rodrigo, Gabriel Jesus. We're not even done there. After we looked at the Kingsley Coman just now, we got more names that have been dropped. We have a confirmation of Gertruda being in Eredivisie Tots. But look at the state of this. Araujo. Again, guys, if these are cards that are going to be in packs, that is crazy, right? If it's a Tots Moments SBC, that'd be even more crazy. But if it's a Tots Moments card that is in packs, that is still crazy because that is an insane card, right? That is an insane card and always overpowered Araujo. That could be another blow to center backs on this game if that is an SBC. So many people would want to get that done. Now, a couple other leaks that we have. FIFA Romania. Now, Foot Sheriff has not retweeted this, but he leaked Ben Asser. That could be an insane Serie A midfielder with the Milan links. Everybody knows about the Ben Asser cards this year. He's kind of been a cheap beast since the beginning. He had the Fantasy Foot card. Now we have potentially a card for Ben Asser in Team of the Season as well. So that's huge. Bergwijn is another leak that Romania has tweeted. 
or Eredivisie team of the season. And then Romania also tweeted Ake. Now, think about all the names once again, guys, that we have seen in this promo. These cars, this community tots is absolutely looking nuts, right? I don't know if all these center backs are going to have 90 pace. I really don't think they're going to juice them all up that much. It all comes down to the stats, guys. Once again, I feel like some of these stats are boosted a bit extra high just for the hype of team of the season. And I understand that we would all love it if these stats were this good. But we're really going to have to figure it all out tomorrow on Friday when we start to see these cards. Now, there could be a couple more leaks coming in, right? Especially for some of the Air Divisi cards. I think we're going to see a few more of those tweeted out by Sheriff, tweeted out by Romania. There's some other leak accounts going around, right? And we stay being very careful for all leaks. We take them with a pinch of salt. But th at this stage of the week, heading right into the promo being tomorrow, these leaks are pretty believable. But some of these accounts that are not always right, I'm not saying all leak accounts are right. We were kind of discussing this on stream yesterday. But this is one that has big implications. If you add Alexis Sanchez to this tot squad with all the other insane players we've already had, if he's in there as well, this is by far going to be like the best community tot squad ever. So I'm not saying believe this to be 100% true or fact, because talking about a cracked card out of this world, like disgusting in terms of stats, this would be it, Alexis Sanchez. So in 93 fantasy, you give him a plus one or a plus two. That's probably all he would get on his tots card. That's still going to be an absolutely nuts card. We might look at 99 dribbling on Alexis Sanchez team of the season. That'd be crazy if it happens. But that's a leak that has been posted out there. So be careful with that. Take that with a pinch of salt. Um, and again, take all this with a pinch of salt because it could be false. There could be some leaks in here that are incorrect. Some of these guys, I don't know if they're going to do a mini release on Sunday because the way that it looks, and this is the way that it dropped last year as well, and it's actually confirmed by EA on their website, they're going to drop Eredivisie Tots and the Premier League Tots at the exact same time. And it looks like they might be doing that throughout every single week of Team of the Season. There's not going to be a Sunday release. It's all released on Friday so that you can pack the Team of the Season cards in the rewards, right? There's no kind of uh, off like separation date here. If there were going to be Air Divisi Tots cards in rewards, but they were going to be released into packs on Sunday, that wouldn't really work, right? They have to be in packs when Weekend League starts for EA to kind of release them as rewards. So I think there's not going to be an offset this year. I think it's going to be Friday, we're going to get two team of the season teams every single week. And maybe, maybe this is what it is. Maybe the Tots Moments cards, like the Araho that we looked at, um, maybe this is going to be like the mini release is going to be Tots Moments on Saturdays or Sundays. They're going to drop those guys in there as kind of like the mini release. And then the main Tots squad guys are going to be released on Fridays. Maybe that's what it is. But still, that wouldn't make a whole lot of sense because, again, if all Tots and Tots Moments players are available in rewards like right away on Friday, um, then you'd have to imagine that all of those would be in packs. I don't know. So that's such an interesting thing. We're probably going to find more about that today. I know we just talked about leaks for a long time, but there's just so much to cover there with leaks. It's absolutely crazy. So that's kind of a big thing. Now, how is this impacting the market? As we've gone through all those players and looked at all those insane cards, how is this impacting the market? Uh, prices are down. They really are. It's kind of like one last drop. And I think this point, like right now, as we're looking at the market, even in this video, we might be like really close to like the bottom bottom because 340, 335 for Mbappe. This is officially the lowest that he has been. But today on Thursday with the new season restarting, there's a lot more gameplay to man that even starts today before tomorrow. I think a lot of people have been saving their foot champs qualification, myself included, for today on Thursday because the season resets today at Rivals Rewards. And that means that if you played champs, uh, qualifiers and didn't finish them, it was all going to be reset today anyway, as it often is. So... If you're not qualified like I am yet, today's going to be a day of gameplay where I think people are going to be playing foot champs and trying to qualify for this upcoming weekend league with the brand new rewards in Rivals and Weekend League that we should be able to see today. So it's going to be very interesting after the Rivals reset to look at the foot champs rewards and the division Rivals rewards after we get a new season today. Also, it'll be interesting to see what they do with this season level 15, level 30 rewards, some of the packs inside of there. There's a lot to look for today as a part of the Thursday content. Now let's talk about the market a little bit more. I'm, I've been broke, right guys? I bought cards honestly a little bit too early, but we're still in that low point, right? I bought Marshall's for 320 and Marshall's like 300,000 coins flat. Some cards have gone even lower than where they were before. Um, we, we thought we were in like the absolute lowest of the market, right? You can never time a market crash and get the perfect spot every single time. It is very hard to get the absolute lowest lowest point now for some cards like we've mentioned stuff has already gone up right isak 
uh, is already up like 50,000 coins. He's 315K, right? And that's because um, his, you know, the upgrade potential is there after they beat Spurs, right? They're still unbeaten. So he could get that extra upgrade and now they're only one game away. So that kind of inflated his price there. But for a lot of other cards like the Mbappe and the Ginola that we keep looking at, a lot of stuff is low again, or maybe the lowest that it has been. And if you haven't bought any cards yet, a lot of these out of pack specials, most meta players in the game, I think are decent buys for the team. I still think they are. If you want to buy somebody for your team and hold on to it for a week or so, you're looking at prices right now that are that are really solid. Alawayrin was again, you guys remember, like 700,000 coins. And now this guy's 460k. Absolutely crazy. We have Saudi League Tots in a couple of weeks. You know, you've got the uh, Cristiano Ronaldo that might be a part of that. This is a card that is so meta this year and so popular. Even though more 99 place players are going to come out during the team this season, he's probably still going to have a rebound up. I feel very confident still over this weekend that we will see card prices rising. Just focus on the most rare and the most meta right away. And there's still opportunities to buy out there on this market. Not everything is going to go up, uh, but I think a decent amount of stuff is going to go up. And you did see yesterday some panic selling based off of leaks, right? Bernardo Silva was still above, I think, 600, like something thousand coins. He gets leaked. He dropped all the way down to like 500k flat and went back up to about 600k. So there's plenty of fluctuation on this market right now. It's just that nobody is buying because team of the season is literally tomorrow. And that has prices just dropping a little bit lower. But it's again, really, really good potential in that area. So we'll talk a lot more about the market this weekend. Let's talk about fodder because that is also of a big importance right now. I know a lot of you guys have been selling fodder. Prices on fodder have actually started to drop. Yes, it started to drop because people are selling, selling and selling, and it's actually bringing the supply up and the demand is still staying the same or maybe going down. And that supply is kind of making prices come back down as people are listing cards in the market. 85s, 12K flat, 84 is four and a half thousand coins after being 5,000 coins yesterday at content. We had our normal content spike with that new player pick coming out and then boom, They've just been dropping as a lot of people have been selling. It's not like a lot of people are opening packs right now. This is literally investors selling. So I think there could be a little bit more of a bounce right again today at content. That could be a time to get out of some of those cards. If you have not already, be careful on the 82s, 83s, 84s. This is why we said earlier in the week last week, sell early to midweek because once we get towards this weekend, the pack spam and the supply is really, really the big question that we have to watch out for. With these cards over the weekend now let's take a look at high rated fodder because if you look at these prices you're like hold us hold up a second nate 88s are 27k yeah they're 27k the last time they were 27k guys let me remind you they'll technically they were 26 they were a little bit lower last week these guys were uber cheap right before we had that big time icon sbc released and these guys were 38,000 coins look how much they've dropped off guess what sbc comes back tomorrow yeah that icon pack once again fodder prices tonight today tonight and even tomorrow are going to be a very close watch now we'll talk about this more tomorrow it's very very risky to try to play with the supply and try to say that with all the packs we know there's going to be gobs of packs open tomorrow and friday would you want to buy high rated fodder for the potential of another slight rise i think these cards have potential to be flipped I think you just have to be careful wanting to buy them. It's risky to buy them before all the supply, but maybe tomorrow after content, that is a very great place to look to buy some cards on this game. So last chance to say also today on Thursday, like we mentioned, it's the last day to stack up some packs, whether it's 85 plus player picks, whether it's 83 plus upgrades, whether it's doing like this, the smelting into the 80 plus double, the Titans trophy, whatever that is, the whole grind is there. You know, everything today, last day to do it. Your 86 pluses. I haven't missed a single 86 plus. I've been doing that every single day. Uh, I haven't missed an 8111 Premier League. Been stacking those first and fresh. So make sure if you want to get some of that stuff done, today is your last day to be crafting a lot of those refresh SBCs. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And of course, never forget your daily login every single day. Try to get that done so you can stay on track for that TOTS pack and all the other fodder packs that are going to be dropping inside of this game of that uh, objective which is very very important so that's kind of an update on this game i, I don't think i missed anything today's a big day uh it probably at content's not going to be that big just the refresh of sbcs and marquee matchups i don't know about this nesta sbc we've been kind of having in the back of our minds all week it might not be dropping guys i have no idea what's happening with nesta we figured that if it was leaked 
it would have been dropped already and that is just not the case uh yesterday also we had the last team of the week 26 last team of the week of the year dropped and there's a left back Kamavinga. ea tried to go out with a bang they put three featured players in the best card in the whole entire team of the week is this guy these guys are going to get supplied a lot um on friday if during lightning round saved a pack so if you have Kamavinga, if you have lukaku if you have any of these guys that hold value especially this card this is going to drop off a good amount it's not going to go like crazy low because it's not in the tradable team of the week packs uh this from this weekend's rewards right we'll have to see how that looks today for sure to confirm that but uh these guys are not going to be available in the rewards we believe so i would still sell these though before the weekend but this is a very interesting card to watch kudos to ea for giving him a huge boost cdm left back left wing back with a four star weak foot upgrade four four nice card so ggs to ea for a nice boost on that final team of the week but that's the video for today guys i know there's a lot of information there a lot of leaks but if you enjoyed it drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions pop into the twitch stream today that is also down below link in the description in there and say hi we'll be streaming today and getting ready one last time one last day for team of the season starting tomorrow also subscribe to the channel if you're new i'll see you in the twitch stream today it's been nate for account and catch you guys there peace